I'm going to show you Git Rebase Interactive with the option Edit. So this Edit can use it to edit the commit message or actually even use it for edit the commit itself. But if you use it for editing the commit, you are actually rewriting the history. So if it's in your local repository, if you rewrite the history, it's okay. But if you have pushed it to remote, it's not recommended to rewrite the history because someone might have already copied your changes to their local and already and already make some changes on top of it. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you an example with git rebase edit. So right now I've created four commit and what I want actually is one, two and three. But let us assume that I have made something wrong. So this is the commit that I've made first. This is the commit that I have made and the commit message is first. It should be one. Okay. And if you do git div between this one and this one, you can see that I've added a first inside this one and I should have added one instead of first. Okay. So right now I'm going to edit the text file and also the commit message itself. So what I can do is that I can do git rebase negative i k three commit. I'm going to modify three commit. So right now an editor pops up. What I can do, I can type i to insert and then I can choose the one that I want to modify. So I'm going to modify the first. So I'm going to type edit and the rest I leave it to pick. Okay. And I press escape key colon wq to exit. So you can see that right now the difference before that I have done a video which is revert, which is used to modify the commit message. When I use revert, an editor will pop up immediately for you to change the commit message. But right now, if you use edit, git will stop at the commit that you want to edit. And then it will ask you to do a git commit amend. So right now, I'm going to change the message first. git commit negative negative amend. So if I press enter, and then it will ask you to uh, modify the commit message. I'm going to modify it to one. Press escape key colon wq to exit. Right now, if you do git log, you can see that previously it was first. Right now it changed to one. And if you do a git rebase edit and you can see that the head right now is pointing towards this commit. If you do git k negative all, you can see you have modified the commit message. And right now the master branch and uh, the one that you have modified uh, is diverged. Okay. So right now you have to do a rebase continue to move the base of this one on top of your uh, changes that you have made. So right now, I will continue with git rebase continue just according to the instruction. It says that once you change the commit and then you can, once you are satisfied with the changes, you can run the rebase. So you can see the rebase is successful and there is no much conflict because you are just changing the commit message. You are not changing the content of the commit. All right. So if you do git log right now, you can see right now the commit message is already changed. All right. So if you check the what is in the file, you can see the text is still wrong. We instead of first, it should be one. So actually you can do the interactive rebase by modifying the commit message and the content of commit in one shot. But I show you doing rebase two times just for the purpose of showing you how it works. Okay. And right now, in order to modify the content, I'm going to do a git rebase again. So I'm going to press I and then I'm going to edit, make some edit on this one. Escape key colon WQ. Okay. So you do git log right now. The head is pointing at this point. All right. So if you modify, you can modify the file. If you do git K, you can see this point head is checking out this point. This is your whole master branch. So right now, if I make some changes, so you can see it's still first. I'm going to change it to one. Control X. Yes. Enter. All right. If you do git K again, you can see that you have some uncommitted changes because you have changed the content of the commit and then they have diverged. And right now I'm going to do a rebase. I'm going to add it to the staging area first. So if you do git status, you can add it to the staging area. And you can do git commit negative negative amend. So to put it under the same commit, escape key colon wq. If you do git log right now and do git show, you can see the changes right now become one. All right. Okay. So right now I'm going to do continue with the rebase 
to place all of these three commit three two one on top of the one that I have just committed. So you can see that later it will have much conflict because you are going to rebase change the base of this one on top of the changes you have made. The changes of this one is first and the changes that you have made is one. So right now I'm going to continue with the rebase. Git rebase negative continue. So it says that you have a merge conflict. So right now I'm going to modify the file. Since there's a merge conflict, I'm going to throw away all the changes and then this one and then the first and then this one. Okay. Control X, Y, save to exit. So it says that once you have reserved a conflict manually, if I do git status, you can add the file. So once you have added the file, you can run the git rebase continue. All right. So I'm going to type colon WQ. Okay. So if you do git log right now, you can see you have one, two, and three. And if you do git div between this commit and this commit, you can see this is your changes. It becomes one instead of first. Right now, let us use git k all to visualize. So you can see the whole thing right now become one single line. At the very first commit, the text is created. You can see the, the content inside. And then at the second commit, this one one, one is added. And then at this one, two is added. And then at this one, three is added. So this is what we want. All right. So using git rebase interactive edit, we are able to change the commit message and also the content of the commit. So let's say if you make a mistake on the previous commit, you can use a git rebase interactive edit to change whatever you want. All right. But make sure it's not pushed to the remote. Someone already used the things that you have pushed the remote and it's not recommended to do a rebase like this. All right.